Hi, kids. I'm Rio. Welcome to Name the Animals. Today, we're going to learn the names of some amazing animals and how to spell them. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi there. I'm a squid. Spells S Q U I D. Can you say squid? Great. Now let's spell it together. S Q U I D. Squid. And I'm excited to tell you about myself. I'm a fascinating creature of the ocean, known for my unique body and incredible abilities. I have a soft, elongated body with eight arms and two longer tentacles, all lined with suction cups that help me catch my prey. I come in various sizes, from tiny squids that can fit in your hand to giant squids that can grow as long as a bus. My body is incredibly flexible, allowing me to swim gracefully through the water. I use jet propulsion to move by expelling water through a special tube called a siphon. This lets me dart away quickly if I sense danger. One of my coolest features is my ability to change color. I have special cells in my skin called chromatophores that allow me to blend in with my surroundings or communicate with other squids. I can flash different colors and patterns to signal alarm, attract a mate, or scare off predators. Speaking of predators, I have a few tricks to stay safe. If I'm threatened, I can release a cloud of ink to confuse my attacker and make a quick getaway. My ink is dark and can create a smoke screen that gives me enough time to escape. I'm a carnivore and I love to eat fish, shrimp, and other small marine creatures. My tentacles are perfect for grabbing and holding onto my prey. Once I've caught something, I use my sharp beak to break it down into smaller pieces that I can eat. I have large, well-developed eyes that give me excellent vision, even in the dim light of the deep ocean. My brain is also quite complex, making me one of the most intelligent invertebrates. Life as a squid is all about exploring the ocean, hunting for food, and avoiding predators. My unique adaptations and skills make me a master of the underwater world. I'm a remarkable creature, and there's always something new to discover about me. Hi there, I'm a seahorse. Spells S E A H O R S E. Can you say seahorse? Great, now let's spell it together. S E A H O R S E Seahorse And I'm excited to share a bit about myself with you. I'm a small, fish-like creature with a unique appearance and lifestyle. I live in shallow, warm waters around the world, often among sea grasses and coral reefs. My body is covered in bony plates instead of scales giving me a tough, armor-like exterior. I have a long, curved tail that I use to anchor myself to plants and other surfaces. My head is shaped like a horse's, which is how I got my name. And I have a long snout that helps me suck up tiny food particles. One of the coolest things about me is my ability to change color, to blend in with my surroundings. This camouflage helps me hide from predators and sneak up on my prey. I mainly eat small crustaceans and plankton, which I suck up through my snout like a straw. I'm not a strong swimmer. Instead, I use a small fin on my back that flutters rapidly to propel me through the water. My other fins help me steer and stay balanced. My slow, graceful movements help me stay hidden and conserve energy. Another fascinating thing about me is that I'm a male who gets pregnant during mating. My partner deposits her eggs into a special pouch on my belly. I carry the eggs until they hatch. 
and then I give birth to tiny seahorses. This unique reproductive process is one of the things that makes seahorses so special. Life as a seahorse is all about staying hidden, finding food, and taking care of my young. My camouflage, unique body shape, and extraordinary parenting skills make me a remarkable creature of the sea. I am a true marvel of the underwater world and there's always something fascinating to learn about me. Hi there, I'm a scorpion spells S C O R P I O N Can you say scorpion? Great, now let's spell it together. S C O R P I O Scorpion. And I'm excited to tell you about myself. I'm an arachnid related to spiders, ticks, and mites. I live in many different habitats around the world, from deserts and forests to grasslands and caves. One of the first things you'll notice about me is my pincers. These strong, claw-like appendages, called pedipalps, help me catch and hold onto my prey. I also use them for defense and to dig burrows where I can hide during the day. My body is segmented and covered in a tough exoskeleton, which provides protection. At the end of my tail, I have a venomous stinger. I use my stinger to subdue prey and defend myself from predators. My venom varies in strength depending on my species. Some of us have venom that's as potent as a bee sting, while others can be more dangerous. I'm mostly nocturnal, which means I'm active at night. I come out to hunt for insects, spiders, and other small animals. I have a pair of tiny eyes on the top of my head, but my eyesight isn't great. Instead, I rely on my sense of touch and the vibrations in the ground to locate prey. An interesting fact about me is that I glow under ultraviolet light. This fluorescence is due to substances in my exoskeleton and helps scientists locate us in the dark. No one knows exactly why we glow, but it's a fascinating feature. Reproduction is also unique in the scorpion world. During mating, I perform a dance with my partner, grasping her pincers with mine. After mating, the female carries the fertilized eggs inside her body until they hatch. The baby scorpions climb onto her back and stay there until they are ready to fend for themselves. Life as a scorpion involves hunting, avoiding predators, and sometimes moving from one place to another to find food or a mate. My powerful pincers, venomous sting, and nocturnal habits make me a formidable and fascinating creature. I'm an important part of the ecosystem, helping to control insect populations and maintain balance in my environment. Hi there, I'm a pig spouse. P. I. G. Can you say pig? Great, now let's spell it together. P. I. G. Pig. And I'm excited to tell you all about myself. I'm a friendly and intelligent animal known for my strong sense of smell and love of mud. I live on farms and in the wild all around the world. My body is sturdy and covered in coarse hair, and I come in various colors, from pink to black to spotted. I have a snout at the end of my nose, which is very sensitive and helps me find food buried in the ground. My sense of smell is incredibly keen, much better than a human's. I love to eat. My diet includes fruits, vegetables, grains, and even small animals or insects if I come across them. I'm an omnivore, which means I can eat both plants and animals. I enjoy rooting around in the soil with my snout to find tasty treats, a behavior called rooting. You might often see me rolling in the mud, and there's a good reason for it. Mud helps keep me cool since I don't sweat like humans do. It also protects my skin from the sun and pesky insects. Plus, it's just fun. I'm a very social animal and enjoy being around other pigs. We communicate with each other using a variety of grunts, squeals, and snorts. We have a good memory and can recognize other pigs and even humans we've met before. Pigs are also quite intelligent. We can learn tricks, solve simple puzzles, and are even known to play video games designed for us. Our intelligence is comparable to that of dogs, and we can be trained to do various tasks. When it comes to family, female pigs, called so's, are very caring mothers. 
They build nests for their piglets and look after them attentively. A typical litter can have around 10 to 12 piglets, and they grow quickly, just like me. Life as a pig is full of exploring, eating, and socializing. My keen sense of smell, love for mud baths, and friendly nature make me a fascinating and important part of the farm and wild ecosystems. I'm more than just a farm animal, I'm a smart, social, and curious creature. Hi there, I'm Oyster. Spells. O. Y. S. T. E. R. Can you say Oyster? Great, now let's spell it together. O. Y. S. T. E. R. Oyster. And I'm thrilled to share a bit about myself. I'm a fascinating marine creature that lives in both salt water and brackish environments, often found clinging to rocks, reefs, and the ocean floor. My body is protected by a hard, irregularly shaped shell made of calcium carbonate. This shell is my home and my defense against predators. I can close it tightly to keep myself safe from hungry fish, crabs, and other threats. One of the most interesting things about me is my ability to filter water. I feed by drawing water into my shell and filtering out tiny plankton and particles, which I then consume. This not only provides me with food, but also helps keep the water clean. I can filter several gallons of water a day. I'm also famous for something else pearls. Occasionally, when a foreign substance gets inside my shell, I coat it with layers of nacre, the same material that lines the inside of my shell. Over time, this creates a beautiful, shiny pearl. Not all oysters produce pearls, but when we do, it's a special surprise. I'm a stationary creature, which means I stay in one place for most of my life. I attach myself to a surface using a special organ called a byssus, which secretes strong, sticky threads. This keeps me anchored even in strong currents. I reproduce by releasing eggs and sperm into the water, where fertilization occurs. The larvae float freely for a few weeks before settling down and attaching to a surface, where they grow into adult oysters. My life might seem simple, but I'm an important part of the marine ecosystem. By filtering water, I help maintain water quality and provide a habitat for other marine life. My presence in oyster reefs also helps protect coastlines from erosion and provides a home for a variety of sea creatures. Life as an oyster is all about filtering water, staying safe in my shell, and sometimes creating beautiful pearls. My unique abilities and contributions to the environment make me a remarkable and valuable member of the underwater world. We loved having you with us. Hope to see you again soon. Keep smiling. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye and have a fantastic day. See you next time on our next adventure. Thanks for exploring with us. Until next time. We had a great time together. See you soon. Remember to stay curious and keep learning. Thanks for watching. More fun is coming soon. We appreciate you joining us. See you next time.